It's nice. I didn't mean to have this mask. <laughs> anyway, I stumble on this video. I like this one. Of Nick White. It's it's almost unbelievable. People cannot go by their instinct. If you said why, for some reason, and I've said it, I've been saying it for years, their instinct tells them to walk in counterclockwise circles. If you said, should you do that? No, you, you really shouldn't. And if you said, well, that's what I saw today at Home Depot, you just went in there and started walking around in a circle. Nobody would do that. You're not gonna do that. So, that's one reason you don't do it. But two, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to act like you're doing anything deliberate if you're just walking in a circle. So I stumble on this video of goofball Nick White, and I do, I like having a go with this guy. His physicality is terrible. And they don't teach any kind of physicality. They've all got these great big duck feet, and they wear these great big black shoes. This is this how this guy is, this explains why this, the, these dogs heal the way that they do. So his plan is that if you're walking along, and this, and you, basically the Larry Crone method, cut it off, the dog is the guy in the black. Nick is the handler, bumping it out of the way. If you said that's disturbing, look at him. If you said the guy's attitude, the guy's doing a good job of acting like an off-leash canine dog, yeah? It's disturbing. I mean, everything they're telling people to do is wrong. And if you said, what's he saying? If you said, who is this guy? I kind of realized. If you said, if you had to describe him, he's just like, he's like generic white male. If you said, well, he's, he's average, high build looks. He's very generic. So his plan is that people are afraid to turn to the left because they're going to run into the dog. His plan is to pl pile drive into it and then it's not going to be there. Look at him. So he's going to tell you, you're going to walk along, and then you're just going to shove the dog out of the way. You're walking along with the dog. The dog's trying to get ahead. Boom! You knock it out of the way. If you said the exact opposite of what you're telling people to do, yes. You need to turn the other way, and you need to go in a straight line. So if you said this goes on and on and on. And what he's saying, let me find this, see if I can find the right. People do soft lefts because they're afraid to run into the dog. If you said, what's a soft left? Who knows? This is something they've made up. Like Sean, they learn to stay back so you don't run into them. So if you said their plan is to continually run into these dogs, yeah. That's what Larry Crown does too. They kick him in the head. They name him in the head. So if you said, let's see these left turns. This is the problem with this guy. I, I'm not being mean, but he's not the brightest bulb. And he, what he doesn't even realize is he's not doing a left turn at all. If he is doing a left turn, it is a soft left because all he's, what he proceeds to start doing is healing around in counterclockwise circles. He said, that's not a left turn, that's walking in circles. Yeah. If you said, what? Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Watch, 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 watch. He needs a backlight or something. Hang on, let me see if turning this light off will help. That's their plan, though. That explains why all these dogs are so crappy that they have. Alright. 
So he said he proceeds to just walk around circles doing what he was doing with that guy and cutting in front of the dog, but just continuing to go in circles. If he said, so what happened? Just continuing. If he said, there's no, tre no, there's no treats or anything. If he said, so let me show you what the end is. This is the end result. The dog has now learned. Oh, I guess it's like him. The dog, well, the dog has now learned to stay far away. All right, hang on, let me get a different device that I can show this on. It's now learned to stay far away from him. But it's also going to come up with some other strategies. If you said what, going behind him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, 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 I didn't realize he was using the e-collar to do it. Oh my God, it's even worse than I thought. I was just watching it. I thought he was just kneeing it. I didn't realize he was doing the e-collar too. Whoops. If you said that's, they're known for their healing. No, they've got the worst healing out there. Breaking down the importance of pace variation, why it works, how it works, the importance of left-hand turns, why it works, how it works. Um, now, some of you may be thinking like, oh man, like I paid this money just to, to learn this, but trust me on this. This is one of the most undervalued, underappreciated, underrated things in the world of dog training for creating a tight heel. Um, if you said even in theory, that's not going to create a tight heel if you're continually. If you said, wouldn't you just teach a pivot left? Yeah, you would teach a pivot left. If you said that didn't involve kneeing the dog in the head. So if you said, so let's, he talks a bunch of bullshit, talking, talking, talking. Let's take a look at the tight heel that it's created. I want you to look at the dog that sits looking all over the place. Oh yeah, you're going to see all right. End result. Look at Zeke checking in. Left, hard left. Oh, good boy. Another hard left. Good. And see if you watch this head turn in. Watch, I'm gonna do pace. And see that? You see that? That's what you want to see. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hard left again. Good boy. He said he's basically just walking in circles. Yeah. It's reversed because it's a front-facing camera, but he's oh, actually walking okay. in counterclockwise circles. Oh, yes, such a good puppy. That's such a good puppy. But he said he's disgusting. He's disgusting. He's like, you think he's timid from us? But he said, now what? Uh, look at the dog. That's the nice, tight, flashy heel. said they're taking the e-collar and hitting it over and over when the dog is right there. Just like that. You see how he stopped. Look at this. If he says get ready to go behind him. Yeah. Literally a level two on the e-collar. So that's the exception e-collar training. It should be low stimulation with the proper. If he said this guy is a effing nightmare. Hard left. Boom. And then again, watch. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. It's behind him. And again, a oh hard left. He's tap, tap, tapping this e collar and, and walking uh, in counterclockwise circles. You see 
how it folds in? That's what you want to see. I slow down. Zeke! Oh, that's such a good dog. That's such a good dog. Yeah. He said it's gone. So that that's the importance of pace variation. As you see how he's checking in, right? You literally see how If he said he doesn't have any idea what he's talking about, they've literally got the worst healing ever. If he said what is it? Just dogs with their head down walking in a straight line. But I didn't really actually realize that they sat there and told people to do it. They really are a menace. I'm getting ready to do another video about Taylor. I'm so bothered by this video of him telling people to get down on the floor and instigate and slap the ribs and do all these things with these dogs. When it's right there on film that the dogs are all doing the shake off. If he said, if you continue doing it, the dog will escalate it. Yes, why wouldn't they? Th this Nick White is terrible. Let me show you. He's, he's just. If you said if you found out later he was a robot, you wouldn't be surprised. No. <laughs> They're the ones that they have the, it's the franchise and they just, apparently you go there and they teach you how to pull a can of paint on a rope and. Then you open your own franchise and if you said then what, start training the dogs? No. <laughs> I gotta show you this one video though. That guy, there was some guy just called me. He took it to the one over there in Orlando. And when he went to pick it up, the dog bolted and ran. If he said, how did you find this out? Because he asked me, do you use e-collars? And anytime someone thinks they know something about e-collars, I just go, oh, I say, what, what do you think that they are or do or whatever? And he said, oh, that you help, that's how you help train them or something and oh let me show you this off leash cannon I don't I don't like this guy look at this guy they think that this is funny Yes. So if you Jack. That's why to this. So he was this this guy had name Mudley. To bully him and a bunch of friends. And then this worked this produce. That was my be fear. If you say what you know what? Kim look what they dare garbage. No, they think they can stop it. They put all oh, right. The girl and I, I, I was suspicious. I saw that. He said that. And then I saw. It didn't get what they do. Their man is to force the dog away using the collar. And then the parents, the up, you're not throwing things that He's keep around. The stuff around. Now it'll stay there. So afraid. it's gonna always feel here. Someone making shit all, all over the place. Look at that. 
worse. They're doing things. Because their actions. Some of the say, why I keep trying to find, I need an intern. I need an online intern. But the sound that I do when they did. Yeah. Look at this stuff. They think trains. What's he doing? I play. Look, look at kick, kick in them. If you said what they meant, you don't want to know. I'm with the electric. Because now this is for four say there where there's a child. Flame on. Arm. If you said it. I've seen Sam's that look on Trump's dog. If you said to them, I do Okay, now the kid is a toy. But isn't that tough? He's a dog. Yes, it's a signal. It's a signal. Let me see if I turn it up. Oops. All right, that helps. I don't need anything even. I need some of the best. I mean, it's, it's all disturbing. This one, they got a little kid in the dog's face while it's been Look at that, got it. And up and take it up. Oh, they start making them stay there while these kids poppers. Those little firework things. So if you go out in public, Kelly, that's what happens to you, Trump. <laughs> I mean, I'll just look at these dogs. If you said the poppers, or yeah, yeah, that. Throw in those app things. Murphy distraction training. She said that he was all. It's they're not the most intelligent individuals. They really aren't. But you have to look at that and say be messy with stuff all around. This girl now starts throwing everything around the room. Flinging that pallet down, flinging this across the room, watch, walking with it, walking with it like she's hit, and throwing it while the dogs cower. Look at him. Kicking stuff across the room. Get ready to throw some. If you said that's desensitizing them, come on. They're mean this stuff. If you said it sounds like a, oh, if they need to, if they desensitize, now vacuuming. Okay, they all, now, that's what's called vacuum bears. If you think there's such a thing, no. There's a dog in the other when you vacuum. 
If you said, what happens if you get up? They with the other collar. Now look, next palette over here, just to throw them out. If you said, Kelly, often when them out, when they're with a water, they suddenly throw it. I can't get out the stripes. Have you ever seen anybody with a walker suddenly fling it across the room? Now she's around the room. If you said, well, they power. Yep. If you said, in their mind, this is proof the dog is trying to It won't move. It won't move. And then we start getting it in the head. That was the end. Then they say, wait. And then the dogs take off. I'm going to show you this great thing on the first. But I mean, that's, that's how they are. This Rodney Moe, come on. Because I dare make a comment. No, I mean, not really upset. It's just wrong. It, nothing about it. Nobody's going to throw a walker. Nobody's going to want a dog to stay when some pellet comes rushing down. You know what I mean? Well, okay, now look at when you were at Home Depot, stuff is flying off the house at you. Oh, look. This is the camera. I'll, I'll find the analysis. It's why all canine franchise is not good. It's probably, it, the other one was broken up too. I don't know why it's like that. Anyway, I'll share this one. This was 2017. And I'm saying it's not good. That before all this came out. When they did, had all the abuse and everything. If you said, what are you saying? Oh, I'm sure I probably have clips in there. I got to show you the one now. They're, they're all really off. Any kind of time you get one of these breeds, like a Great Dane, then it's really even more obvious to the average people that know what they're looking at. Cause everybody knows they're not any good. But your average person can see it in a dog Great Dane because they just go so crap. This is rich, rich canine. This could be used. But I just don't like that. If you say, oh, he's trying to force me on this video to apologize to off the canine saying they suck. If you said, what did you say? I said, no, they're terrible. They throw things at dogs. If you said, not realizing this idiot Taylor throws at dogs, do. Yeah. This must be the place. Oh, no, that must be. Anyway, I can't find it, but that, that's. None of that is valid. You need to turn. There's a very specific reason you need to turn to the right. And that's to help develop a position for the dog. If you're turning into it, that's what you're going to have. You're going to have dogs that are this far away from you and just that dog. Oh, Sandra. I don't know if anybody can hear this one, but maybe I can try going live. I'm about Taylor because he's. So awful. So I'll be right back.